All right. Hi. Hi, uh, Armin. How are you? Good, good. So we are talking to S Sagar, 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 who yeah. is a Hindu living in Bangladesh, which is an Islam Muslim majority country. Um, and we want to, you're going to talk to us about what? Um, first, I want to talk out to about uh, Hinduism because mm -hmm. that's the thing this, uh, I think that you are interested in right now. And mm -hmm. uh, there has been a lot of controversy regarding this issue. So All I'm right. going to talk about this very briefly before I go to my main point, which is uh, prosecution of minorities in Bangladesh and the problems right. between Muslims and other uh, minorities. Mm -hmm. the so the prosecution of minorities in Bangladesh is mostly against um, non-Muslims, right? Yes, non-Muslims. Uh, like Hindus, uh, mostly like you. Buddhist, Buddhist, and mm. uh, Hindus, because we are uh, we're in a large number than mm. the Christians living in Bangladesh. And atheists as well have a hard time in Bangladesh. Atheists, yes. Uh, the atheists mostly are from uh, Muslim community, as they are the majority, majority, but they don't come out uh, because mm. because of their safety. Mm. So uh, first, uh, to talk about Hinduism. The way I see it and the way that I have seen most of the people in my community believe in it is, is just not like one simple thing that we believe in. Like it's not organized like any other religion like Islam. Uh, in Hindi community, uh, a lot of Hindus, like most of the Hindus, we, we consider Buddhist or Sikhs or Jains as Hindus. Though they would uh, like if I tell a Sikh person you are Hindu, the Sikh won't agree with this. Uh, uh, but we consider them as Hindus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. So it's all about including people, not like mm. excluding people, like you are Kafir, you get out mm -hmm. of my religion. It, it's mm. not like that. It's about mm. like, um, we, we believe that in every religion, there is a way to God. Mm. So I'm El talking about... Wait, even in Islam? Even in Islam, if like <laughs> I have I have no problem with Islam, okay. if Islam like decides to reform it, like mm -hmm. oh. uh, it uh, excludes jihad and oppression on women, and is just believe in the good things in Islam, then I have no problem with Islam. Okay. At all. I but, have I have a lot to say on, on all of this, but I'm not going to for now because I want you to give, give you a chance to say more. But so go ahead. No, no, no. You can say uh, like. Whenever you want, you want to say it, like we can no. get the discussion going and you won't forget it. Uh, if you ask right no. now, then you won't forget it to ask me later. No, no, I have a notepad yeah. I, I, because trust me, every, when you say reform and you say like every single one of these things, I have like I could uh, I could do like half an hour to an hour push like discussion on each one of these. So yeah, I know I'm, I know. I'm going to pick I'm going to pick. I'm gonna pick <laughs> I'm going to like, and I also already have like videos against reform and I'm going to make new ones. So I, I don't think this is the, uh, I want to give you more of an opportunity to talk more. So go on. So the, the way uh, Hinduism evolved is like, it started at something, then it went through so much changes and uh, like dif different type of reforms. Then the history comes in, Hindu, uh, Hinduism and Hindu scriptures get corrupted. A lot of things has happened, but the core things uh, that what into Hinduism is is within our community, within our people. When we see how Hindus behave, what we know that we hold uh, as our values, we know that is Hinduism for us. So uh, last uh, last. Uh, two days ago. So to clarify, does that mean that if an outsider says this is Hinduism, you're going to tell them like you don't know, you don't know what's Hinduism, but when an insider says this is Hinduism, you accept that they recognize that, like, like you know, you say we like because Hinduism is not very defined and it's all over the place. Um, mm. You just have to be a Hindu to get it. Like it's not something that you could get as an outsider. Is that what you're trying to say? Um. You can get it as an outsider if you are mm. not like biased. Like if you <laughs> think as an anti-Hindu person, like mm -hmm. I like I'm an atheist and I don't believe in God. Like in no way. Oh, you you just no, 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 I, I, yeah. I'm, I'm giving an example. 
Like, yeah, yeah. If no, I'm I just wanting to clear to our audience that Sager is not an atheist, he's a Hindu I'm not theist. Atheist. He's I'm just atheist. giving an example, but go on. I'm, I'm giving an example, yeah. Yeah. So if an atheist person, he mm. does not believe in God. And mm. there is no way to convince him that there is a God unless the God shows himself or, or gives uh, some kind of proof that the, mm. he exists. So he's definitely not going to believe in any religion unless they give in, them proof. And we know that there is no proof of God. We just believe, believe in God. Okay. Yes. Some of us. Yeah, I agree. Uh, I agree. There is no yes. evidence. Yes. There is no, no evidence, and uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm. I'm pretty sure that there is uh, not going to be an, an evidence, uh, <laughs> at least for a few thousand years. <laughs> At least, yeah. okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, okay. Uh, so when a pe uh, person is anti, uh, like an atheist, so mm -hmm. he's not going to believe anything that Hinduism says. Like, if not, uh, not a single thing. Like, if if we say that all of the things that Hinduism holds its value and all the things morality comes with it, it's gone. Just mm. one belief that Hindus hold is there is a God. Atheists won't even believe in that one simple thing. So mm. there is no question of believing so. in the other moralities and values that the Hinduism <laughs> offers. So so we're a lost cause. We're a lost cause. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> but there are some atheists, like uh, mm, mm. agnostic atheists, like they move between the theism and atheism. Like, mm -hmm. uh, I don't believe in God, but there might be a God. Okay. Like, they're mm -hmm. confused. Like, the new, uh, some new atheist. Like, should we believe in God? Like, the, the universe is just by uh, created uh, by itself. Like, what mm -hmm. happened? It's, there's a, it's the question I think that everyone faces. Does what, uh, what happened? Uh, we, uh, like, there is no time before singularity. That what, what energy? Why did it come from that uh, created the universe? That mm -hmm. I think every, uh, irrespective, uh, irrespective of their belief in God, they, all, uh, they think about this, I think. Mm. So uh, back to Hinduism. Uh, if, yeah. you, uh, if you, even if you're an outsider, like, uh, but you do believe in God and you are like a spiritual person and you think that you are looking for the religion uh, that you can find peace in, there are a lot of people that converse to Hinduism uh, from the West. They are an outsider. They are not familiar with uh, uh, Hinduism, like like us. But they still uh, accept Hinduism, and they can uh, define it better than me. Than what what did they find in Hinduism uh, than the, that the others can find? So you're so, saying there's a lot of people in the West that convert to Hinduism. Yes, and so they are an outsider, but they uh, they like yeah. they've seen uh, they have seen yeah. some kind of they've seen the light. Or, uh, they right. have seen the light. Yeah. All right. So you're so, saying that those even those people who are outsiders, as long as they're not anti-Hinduism like me, um, mm -hmm. they could also get to decide what Hinduism is because they're not biased. Because you know. Yes. Okay. All right. Yes. Okay. And the, uh, coming to the Hindu atheists. You will see a lot of people who claims to be Hindu, but also atheist. Mm -hmm. uh, I uh, like Hinduism. Like it's not a uh, belief uh, around God, but it's uh, mostly around God and the values. But uh, there are a lot of philosophy that comes with Hinduism. That even if it's a religion, uh, you will you will notice that if uh, all of um, a lot of people will say that Hinduism is not a uh, not a religion; it's a way of life. But I think that it's uh, it's a lot of ways to life. Like there is mm. no one single right. path. So mm. the uh, uh, Hindu atheists who call this, themselves atheists are so is uh, every like, other religion, by the way. Yes, like we uh, we think the Hindu theist. We think that uh, the creator uh, there is a creator and uh, the. Oh, you got cut. Are you there? Oh, energy, you ultimate got... energy, but it's not God. Wait, it can you no repeat? Can you go back for a few seconds and repeat it because you got cut? At least for me. I don't know if the recording got it. But go on. Oh, all right. So, so the Hindu theist, we believe 
the ultimate source of the universe the energy that people uh, talks about is has a conscience that's why mm. the universe has created uh, like uh, in a in a beautiful way and the atheist they don't hindu atheist they don't believe in it but they mm. acknowledge that there is an ultimate energy but they don't believe in the uh, consciousness the conscious get, creator yes uh, they mm. don't believe in that but uh, I, and um, from the hindu atheist friends of mine i have uh, come to know that they also enjoy the traditions and the values uh, and festivals of hindu uh, hinduism that's why right 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 they, they, well as as a non hindu atheist just full on yeah. atheist i enjoy those as well yes so uh, they are like in love with them because they are uh, brought up with this culture and they uh, feel like a part of it that's why mm. i think they like to call themselves hindu atheist but mm. i can i cannot say for all hindu atheist it's right. some of them that i have met not oh you got cut again uh, mm. hindu atheist in real life say go back for a few seconds and say repeat yourself just um, few seconds just two three if, seconds if i cannot speak for the uh, mm. all hindu atheists i can right okay all atheists, well i appreciate you clarifying that that you yeah yes. that you could be yeah good mm -hmm. okay mm, bad connection with, that i'm connected with um, they their views are like this that mm -hmm. what i just explained to you a uh, while before okay okay and uh, talking about the scriptures that hinduism has to offer uh, first of all they are really really old like thousands of years old so and uh, the scriptures the history, uh, yes, yes scriptures they yeah. are really old and given the history that have, we have been through like first hindus or against hindus there was casteism and uh, the upper caste the brahmins they like used to manipulate those those scriptures to control the lower caste people Oh, then, so the upper caste people came and ma manipulated the scripture so that they could yes. control the lower caste people. Okay, okay. They could uh, control the lower caste people. So, uh, right. You probably have to go back a few seconds again. Wasn't before, but ultimately the casteism got involved in uh, in the Hinduism. Wait, can like, you? So, so did you just? Sorry, you got cut. So, did you just say that originally this is wasn't part of uh, Hinduism? No, this no. is what I'm assuming you're say you said because you got cut. It wasn't originally there, but eventually got codified into Hinduism. Yes. Uh, okay. Good. Like it was like this. Yeah. Uh, the society was uh, divided Cassidy. into four four right. classes. Like hmm. like there were like uh, five if you scholars, count the outcasts. Scholars, Yes, five. If you outcast count. is much later. Outcast came much later mm -hmm. uh, in the uh, Sena dynasty period. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. mm -hmm. You can uh, search that in Google. Um, so the first classes were the, the the scholars and priests. They were the Brahmins. Then there were the warrior Kshatriyas. Then mm -hmm. uh, after that was Bhasha, who are businessmen and the labor forces of Shudra. Hmm. it wasn't uh, like defined by birth but but by the word and there was no lower or upper like the, the, these were the four classes hmm. okay okay so this is yeah the, originally it was by birth uh, yeah. but then you, eventually it turned into uh, sorry, sorry originally was was it by birth yes it was by okay birth. or yeah. from the from, from the get go okay okay good good to know good. yes continue so um where was I? so after By the way, that, we're, then, we're 40 minutes in you want to move to the um, the situation in bangladesh with the hindus and everybody else being prosecuted so the, just be mindful of okay. the time here i'll okay. talk about the 20 minutes okay uh, okay till 20 so uh, after that the uh, i think you know about this manusmriti or laws of manu this like mm -hmm. this is like the hindu the hindu version of quran like mm -hmm. it's pathetic and um, you don't if uh, i don't know if you know about this but uh in repeat uh, in, go in, back two sec go back three seconds repeat you got cut sorry okay 
the minus might, by the way the recording might be perfect but sometimes it get just cuts for me but go on okay so uh, manusmriti or the laws of manus is like the hindu version of quran mm -hmm. and it's pathetic and it's disgusting and uh, all Hello, are you there? It discriminates again. Sorry, People you got cut again. You got cut again. You said it was disgusting after, yes. right? Okay, yes, so what after that? Go. A lot of Hindus don't believe in it. Like mm. the um, uh, the founder of Indian constitution, Dr. Ambedkar, mm. I don't know if you know him, uh, know about him, mm. but he burned the monosmriti and people accepted it. And in modern days, like there is apps almost no caste issues at least uh, not in bangladesh there is zero caste oh. issues i can assure you that but there are uh, i know their casteism is still exist in rural, uh, rural part of india yes so it's it's, well, they, they can't afford to uh, when you when your community is being oppressed itself you can't afford to oppress other people right so obviously yes. in bangladesh it's not going to be that big of an issue but go yes. on yes and, and even in, in even for in india islam played a huge role uh, in uh, in uniting the Hindus, like uh, yes, and, Ex and external education. enemies. External enemies tend to do that. But go yes, ahead. two two uh, things that have reformed Hindus is uh, first one is Islam, second one is the education. Like in mm -hmm. modern times, when people know about these things and they see the outside world and they try to understand things through education, they don't believe in this anything. Mm -hmm. Like who those scripture that uh, discriminates against people or women will destroy them that's that's the belief or that's the value that our hindu community hold and uh, the second thing is, is so these are the problematic teachings that you're saying that was there before but there are less people believe in it now that's what you're saying yes, yes. okay but and, there's still a problem uh, still a problem even though less than a problem before. in india is especially in states like bihar and up mm. And after uh, that, the Islam comes. Uh, Islam is a huge, uh, it's, it's a curse and a blessing at the same time. For it's a curse Hindus. and a blessing at the same time. Okay, okay. How yes, so? Because the upper caste Hindus, like they behave like animals uh, with the lower caste Hindus uh, before Islam came. When mm. Islam came, uh, uh, most of the people who converted to Islam mm -hmm. after the Islamic uh, Islamic it was uh, lower caste. It was the outcast. It was the outcast. It, it, outcast and lower caste mm -hmm. and Buddhist from uh, Indian subcontinent. Mm -hmm. They because converted to Islam. We, yeah, yeah, we created Muslims in in our subcontinent. Like mm -hmm. the Hindus, they they are getting prosecuted today, or they were prosecuted before. We it was like the fault of us like it was like our karma <laughs> yeah mm. so, so, after, so I, uh, I don't i don't believe in collective punishment and or guilt but you're saying the way you're looking at it is that the islam the muslims who are prosecuting hindus today is yes. these are the outcasts that hindus were prosecuting before yes. and now they're now the now this is like karma coming back and now the Hindus in Bangladesh, for example, are suffering from Muslims, but these are the same lower caste people that the upper caste yeah. Hindus were still, prosecuting. Still you look at it like uh, not just lower like, caste, like the people who are socially backward, like the poor people, are yeah. are the victims of this prosecution. Mm -hmm. uh, even even in today's days, it doesn't. It's not so it's like caste. They, you for, you you motive like basically treating them like lower class citizens motivate <clears> the, <throat> them to leave Hinduism and became Muslim and now yes. Hindus are paying the price for it. That's what you're saying. Yes, even okay. if we look at modern days, it's not about the caste issue. But even uh, I'll talk about it. Uh, the party it's a uh, huge part. Um, but, but do you think as, just a, just a quick question? Do do you think that kind of looking at the world like that is helpful to to people, some people today who didn't do something to pay the price. No, I'm I'm not saying that uh, that we did it. Like if our ancestors did it, we are not them, right? Yes. So good. we don't get to be punished. Good. But 
So karma make doesn't make sense in that. No, I I was like giving you yeah. a metaphor, like oh, okay. what our ancestors did, like yes, yes. Uh, unless we are like born with their soul, we cannot get punished for their. Uh, good, good, good. For yes, their yes. Work. I agree. I agree. Even according to Hinduism, so uh, another thing is uh, Islam has united us uh, Hindus. Like most of the people who left Bangladesh. Uh, it was Pakistan before. Uh, I think you know it. Yeah, Bangladesh. East, East, it, Eastern Pakistan. Yes, it was uh, used to be a part of Pakistan. Yes. So the people who left uh, Pakistan at that time, like after the subcontinent got divided into three country, uh, two countries, mm -hmm. it was the like the that times upper caste or the rich people. They mm -hmm. they could afford to lose their homes or uh, or everything and gets uh, settled in a, a new country i don't uh, i'm not saying that that wasn't painful leaving your everything uh, and migrating to a new country with no like uh, no future and uh, no um, uh, no right. hope yes it's not it, it is not easy for uh, someone to leave their home and even uh, at the time of partition, mostly upper caste Hindus were uh, killed. Like it Ooh. was, uh, they were killed in a huge, huge number. Mm. Like when the uh, country got uh, divided, before the country got divided, there was riots in right. Uh, yes. In, uh, in the in the in the in then British India. Yeah, it was one of the greatest human, uh, one of the greatest atro atrocities in human history. So the numbers yes, are like the, the numbers I are crazy. That, Yes, and the the type of that violence. It I don't think that any event in history that we know of matches mm. that this kind of like uh, insanity. Yeah. That like I have heard from an older person who, who was small during the stars. He had heard stories that uh, people would like throw the kids uh, yeah, up yeah. and then uh, put a sword down, and the kids would like would be cut into half, like mm. small kids. They would cut those kids in half, in pieces. Mm. And they would like burn the older people uh, alive and they would rape women in front of their husband while mm. uh, they forced them to eat beef. Which side was doing this to the ones? Was there both sides doing this to other? Each no, no, no. it was mostly Muslim. I, I'm not being biased, but there are Hindus too in Bihar, mm. just in Bihar. but. Uh, uh, if you talk about the most uh, cases, it was in uh, it was in modern day uh, modern day Bangladesh and Pakistan, because mm. uh, Muslims are like crazy at that time because they wanted okay. Pakistan. They wanted I, I not, again. Let's be clear. We're not talking. We're not generalizing. Okay, this was specific people at that time, right? No, it like if you think of an area like Noakhali, yeah, I don't think you know about Noakhali riot. Even the people, most of the people co contributed in that riot. Like if there are 100 families, uh, 50, uh, like uh, 80 of them directly contributed to uh, killing Hindus and the other 20 supported it. There was like one or two Hind uh, Muslims, maybe one or two Muslims who has um, opposed it, but they couldn't say it. Okay. We don't. We right now we can't verify these numbers. Uh, but um, so we there's like I don't know if we could verify these numbers. I don't know. So everybody the listening. Reason, the reason I'm uh, generalizing, uh, Armin, because I I have seen these things. I have experienced yeah. these things personally. I don't. Yeah, but that's um, not a very reliable way of data collection. Yes, not reliable way, but you can get an idea, even in this modern time where. People are much more educated and much more civilized than the people of 1946. Mm. Even when I see these things happening, like in my family, I, when I whenever I go to my hometown, I can even sleep in peace. Like we are continuously in fear of oh. attacks from Muslims. You're saying right now, living in Bangladesh as a Hindu, you cannot yes. go to sleep uh, without fear because you're yes. in constant fear of some um, somebody. Yes. Muslim our, you. yes, our lands have been occupied. We have went to the police. They have come, but 
it, nothing happens. Like, wait, it, it your land, be, your land was occupied. Like this is in your lifetime. Is occupied, not was. It was yeah. occupied and it still is under occupation. And we live like uh, second class citizens. You yeah, know? Wait, sorry. Like, you went. We to, have to, you like, went. You you personally went to the police. Is yes, I have. I had went to the police and, to say uh, what magistrate like help us. Our uh, land has been taken. Up. Wait, so people actually came over and they took yeah, your land? My, yes. Sorry, you got cut. Okay, and then you went to the police telling people. Wait, how did this? Can you? Is it? Is it possible for you to give us a little bit more detail? So wait, you had like a was it, what, what land was this? Was it like a farm? Uh, two like two groups of Muslims are like. It's all same. Like uh, people would say that it is a political issue that are polit they are politically powerful. That's why they're doing it. But if you can look you at tell it, me like, what happened though? Can you tell me what happened? So you have some land, like farmland, or just yeah. like yeah. One is farmland, and one is our own home. And then what happened? On, people on just came. House. Like uh, people, just, there there is this powerful man. He wants to take our land. He has this last over our land. And he says that uh, I'm talking about my home, and I will talk about the farmland later. Okay, mm -hmm. there are two cases. So f uh, first one is they have like uh, cut down our trees, and we if if we could uh, if we want to say something, they then they would like come with weapons, the um, desi weapons. I don't know if you know about it. The like uh, weapons made of uh, made of iron. Which is called Ramda. The this type of weapons that they use, they don't have like uh, modern uh, automatic rifles or anything. They would come with uh, with those and attack us with it. As we are minority, like in my house, I I am the only like person who is capable of fighting these people. And my father is old, and we don't have any other men in our home. So if like 300 uh, Muslims, I'm I'm not like like. If 300 Muslim come with our house uh, uh, like uh, armed with those weapon, we I cannot defend defend my family or my sister, my mother. We would okay. get killed if we if we try to say anything against them. But uh, what we can do, like uh, we can go to the police and police will say, um, you know, they are powerful people, and the other people, the other Muslims, like one Muslim is taken our land. And always, if I don't see one Muslim who has supported us, like every Muslim, like there is a mosque at right with our house, and people would come to pray it. And after they have finished their praying, then they would come to threaten us. This is this is what happens. Right like after they people, pray, they come to threaten you. Yes, yes. Like I try not hard to generalize Muslims or. Be anti-Muslims. I I know I try, but whenever I see these things, you know, whenever you experience these things personally, yeah, it's it's right. very hard to mm. not be biased against Muslims. You know, not to generalize. I I try so hard, yeah. like that. Not all, all Muslims are bad. Not all Muslims are bad. They don't pray. But I don't see even even if they don't attack us, I don't see one Muslim who is defending us. That it's not right. You can do that. I don't see one. Single Muslim. That's what happened. What, hap what happened to your house? And after they came, like, are you still? Yes, do you still we, have we, that? We, part of part of our house is still occupied, and uh, we are living under continuous fear. Part of our house, like our house. Uh, so you're there, is, and the other people are there as well. That they took it. Yes. Uh, oh. The uh, the uh, they have already like thrown out a Hindu family from their home. Just right in front of us. That was their first target. They don't come against like all Hindu people at total. They, they, this is their recent strategy. You know that and, you and the, the police does nothing. One by one. The, the police has nothing about this. Like they could just come take your home and live there, and you go to no, police and they're like, they're, 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 you can file a case, mm. uh, but uh, unless you are dead, like no, nobody would care. Like oh. we don't want to be dead. We don't want to be dead. Then ask for like uh, justice. We, we are fearing of death. And uh, the the reason these people get this uh, confidence in attacking Hindus or murdering people is uh, they have murdered people before. 
but there was no justice. So, like, so the thing the... no evidence, evidence against mm -hmm. them. So, if like uh, we're sleeping tonight and five Muslims came to our house and slaughtered us, mm -hmm. who who we blame? Like we are dead. Who would take this risk to go against them? Nobody would. Nobody would speak against. Is there any way uh, we can help, like bring attention to this, your case, no, or no, no. like? Like, I, I, the reason I am not uh, going public, like posting these stuffs on Facebook, is because it, it would be like poking a bear, you know, you know, because uh, for some time okay. people will talk talk about us. Like, for there are hundreds of cases like this in Bangladesh, hundreds, mm. not th even thousands. I don't know, mm. like. It's hundreds that we get like every every year. Mm. So some uh, some people will talk about it. Even uh, they might get arrested, but after some time they will they will be out of jail. And the consequence that we will face is much much more hard than uh, we are facing right now. You know. So it's like if you if, like you have to pay the price for t speaking out. Yes. If mm. if they get arrested. Like for how long? Maybe they will uh, spend six yeah. months in jail for threatening us. But once they, they are out of jail, mm. once they are out of jail, they will murder us. Yeah. You know? um, so, uh, okay, can't you can't you go to India? Yes, we can. Um, oh, the, there is another thing that I wanted to talk to you about. No, uh, you no, are before... using CA in one of your in one of your videos. I saw that you wanted. Uh, you are not uh, protesting ag um, against like uh, Hindus uh, who are getting citizenship. You are saying that uh, the people who are Muslims should also get citizenship of India. So I, I would like to say something on this topic. because no, That's not uh, what I said. I said it shouldn't be based on religion. It should be based on who needs it. But that like, you know, each case at a time. They could base evaluate each case at a time without taking religion into account. That's what I said. Are you there? Hello? I can grant sorry. you. Can you? Can, okay, sorry. Did you hear what I said? Because you got caught. I corrected yes. what I, I corrected. Yes. I said, I said, said it shouldn't be on uh, religion. Yes. You sh it should be evaluated uh, uh, on the people who are getting prosecuted. So, right. yeah. Even, and if it uh, happens to be the Hindus most, so be it, right? If yes. Hindus are being, given that Hindus are being persecuted more, if you target based on who's being persecuted, then you're gonna help Hindus more. But you're not fil you're not using religion as a filter. That's what I suggested. But go on. Yes. You maybe you don't uh, you don't know the situation of India. Like it's not hard to get Indian citizenship right now. If I want to uh, be a uh, Indian become, uh, if I want to become an Indian citizen, I can. Uh, do this under one month. I go to India. I uh, collect fake documents and become an Indian citizen. So why don't that you? Is, is the reason uh, uh, I'm not going because if I go to India right now, then I would have to register myself uh, as a citizen who was born in India. So the, the my education, my degrees wouldn't have any value, and uh, and I don't earn right now. So. If I go there and we don't have an earning and like uh, my father don't earn. Sorry, can you we'll... can you repeat? Can you repeat? Sorry, I, somebody for some reason I don't I don't understand why people call me on Facebook. But go on. Can you repeat that again? Last part. Sorry yes. about that. So um, you're saying uh, the reason why you I, didn't if, become. If I if I if I go to India right now, then I would have to register myself as a citizen who was born in India. Like I would have to become a citizen yeah, you, in I got that of part. India by birth. Um, so yeah. our degrees or uh, my education wouldn't have any values in India. Mm. And as I have just recently graduated, so I don't earn. Uh, so it would be hard for me to find a job uh, in India without like I would mm. have to do manual labor because I don't have any uh, degrees. Uh, Mm. Two Indians. I am a Indian citizen who was born in India and didn't receive any kind of education. And if my father quits his job, then we'll have to like it would be just on me 
and I would have to support all my family. Mm. And it's not easy for a refugee uh, in a new country to do manual labor and support their family. Wow. Like, would okay. we like uh, if in Bangladesh, if we com- compromise with Muslims, like if we give them half of our land, we like we if we bribe them, if we salute them, if every time we see them, then it's okay. We can live like animals in Bangladesh. We can live like in uh, animals in India. It would be like kind of same, mm. you know. It, it's just that we, same thing. Like if, but if one I, of them, uh, one of them, you are at risk of dying, and the other one, you're not. No. Yes, but if if like if I pay my taxes to Muslims in Bangladesh, like if I voluntarily give them half of my land, like, come on, take half of my land. And let let me live and give me protection. If, give me protection. If I uh, uh, find a powerful religious person, uh, uh, sorry, religious, not religious, a powerful political person, and say them, uh, uh, here is my uh, half of my land. I want you to protect me from now. Hmm. Okay, I have uh, paid you my like protection. Like the mafia. Oh, yes, um, like the mafia. Or I can convert to Islam in Bangladesh or uh, live easily. Like if I why don't you do that? Yes, <laughs> yes, I that's that's like the last option. So if I convert to Islam in Bangladesh, there's a huge advantage because when you are converted from any other religion, like Muslims think of you so highly than any other uh, even persons from their own community. Like if I accept Islam today, there would be so much Muslim fans around me. The reason I don't do that because if I do that, I would have to live in this prison forever. Like if I become Muslim, like I would have to marry a Muslim girl and live a Muslim life. My family would never accept it, and neither would I feel good about it. Like becoming a Muslim. But That's you will save your skin. You will save your family. You will be able to give, provide for them, and stay safe. Isn't that more important? Mm-hmm. Yes, that's what I'm trying right now. I am uh, I'm currently not thinking about leaving the country, but uh, you know, the people, if I had, like even we are Hindus, if I had a politician uh, brother or politician uncle, or I had a uh, like higher level edu- uh, government employee, like a, a huge police officer in my family, we didn't have faced this kind of persecution. You know, if right. you are powerful, if you are powerful enough, no matter if you are powerful and rich, no matter what religion you are from, you can live right. easily in Bangladesh. Yeah. You know, if if I but, sell my house and move move to Dhaka, if I had enough money, I could uh, move to Dhaka in in a such a good neighborhood where this kind of I wouldn't have never seen this kind of thing if I had mm. a like uh, move to a good neighborhood in Dhaka. But that's that's for the rich people. Well, given people, that you don't have that, why don't you just convert to Islam? I know you don't like to live a lie, but seems like seems like the right solution for you, no? Yes, the, if, first of all, uh, if I convert to Islam, I would be, fa- I would be famous, you know? Then do <laughs> it would, then! No, no, no. I would, I would be famous. That's what I, I don't want because I don't want to live as a Muslim. I know, but what's more important? Like, like you, you will be famous, but to... also protected. Protected. Uh, that's why I'm trying to get a uh, good government job, civil services job. If I get a good job, like if we can hold on to this for five more years and I can get a good job uh, in in between this time, then I can support my family and help my family even uh, um, if I stay Hindu. So you're going to try that and and then if that doesn't work then you're going to convert If that doesn't work, I'm going to move to India. There's no way that I'm I'm going to live in Bangladesh because why wouldn't I? If I uh, become a Muslim and I would have to live a double life throughout my whole life, I would rather live as a free person in India. Than living. So you refu- so you rather be poor and free in India than than, sa- than rich and Muslim in Bangladesh. In, yes. So th- wow. What kind of life is that? Like I'm, uh, I'm like trapped in Bangladesh, and, and there is no guarantee that I would be like rich. 
I, I would I would definitely no like uh, by rich I mean I don't mean like rich rich I mean like rich yes, like, like provide for your family yes you know so save I and, would be a less rich and a, a less rich in India than a little right. bit more rich in Bangladesh and become Muslim. right because I would be free like I have went to India and I've I've seen their life like they are much more free and open than Bangladesh so. Even uh, even in some part of Bangladesh, you wouldn't feel like that you are in an Islamic country, but you have to be super rich for that. Hmm. You wouldn't you wouldn't, you wouldn't see uh, what is happening outside out of your car window. Right. It's it's like you are living in your old world in Bangladesh. Can't you become a Muslim and then leave Islam once you go to the, India? That's, that's like the uh, last option. Like first option is no, to no, get no. A, but you can still be free from Islam because you could leave Islam after a while. If if I leave Islam, like if I, I become famous and then leave Islam, I would face a lot of backlash from the right. Muslim people. I They yeah. would think that I have like uh, betrayed them. I yes. First I convert to Islam, then I uh, leave Islam. What, what kind of mockery is this going on? Uh, it's they, it's they, they started the market all right but okay um yeah. go on uh, and uh, the uh, anti uh, you you asked a uh, oh you got cut. Uh, india is anti muslim or not like mm-hmm. if and i have already told you that i am anti-muslim but i'm not uh, i'm saying that we am only anti-muslim uh, because uh, i'm only anti-muslim let's say muslim muslims are the people who uh, follows islam truly what true oh islam. so not so you're saying muslims who are good people they're just not following islam which is most muslims to be fair uh, oh you got cut again muslims have, no you are cut have, go back <laughs> go back repeat in Bangladesh, half of the Muslims are like half, even sixty uh, percent are Muslim who are true to Islam, oh, yeah. and uh, then good. there is forty percent who are like moderate, moderate Muslims. Mm. So that must be like moderate, that. No, no, the problem with I don't like I am not anti-moderate Muslim, but uh, I have a problem with moderate Muslims too. Like if. Uh, you are not following the Islam properly, then we, why are you supporting the radicalism? Like, the, why are you supporting the true Muslims? I don't see any moderate Muslim saying, yes, uh, that's the bad part of Islam, but we're trying to because reform Because they don't know. Yes. They don't know. They, don't, they haven't read the Quran. They haven't read the Hadith. They and don't know. And even, uh, even after that, like, they live in a complete uh, denial. Like, no, no, no. So, no, no. Does every, so most people... Yeah, oh, yeah, most people. Yeah. Sorry, go on, go on. So there are like sixty percent of um, uh, true Muslims in Bangladesh, and right. if uh, it's the scenario of whole Indian subcontinent, you know. Right. So the true Muslims, like uh, we are, like raised with Muslims, as I'm a part of uh, a part of Islamic country. But in India, you think that uh, there are like there are few people who live in a Muslim neighborhood. There are few people who don't. So when they uh, wake up and uh, see the news about Muslims attacking people, or uh, when they read about the history of uh, Muslims attacking Hindus, or um, some people who are like uh, brought up with Muslims, they don't think uh, that Islam is bad, as their Muslim friend has said it to them because. Uh, they are true Muslims, they are not true Muslims. They uh, always live in a confusion. But when uh, when they like know about Islam and see the Muslims doing it, like it's a common tendency of human. Like Islam is not a like physical thing. We cannot see that. We see these true Muslims. Like who follows Islam, some, those Muslims who follow Islam, we see through the, see the Islam through them. So right. when that's when, why I'm anti-Islam, not anti-Muslim, because yes. it's Islam. That but you, the people of India, they mm. see the Muslims doing it. You know, mm. like you go out of your home and Muslims attacking mm. you. Like we know that they are Muslims. 
you know what provoked them but you know that muslims are attacking you so um, instead of going after the ideology they go after people because they that's yeah. what they see like yeah. when you go out of the house and uh, people of uh, yeah. muslim neighborhood are like uh, looking down upon you they they hate you you know that muslims hate you so you start to generalize about muslims yeah i, because I understand that's that's what happens this is why uh, uh, india is uh, you're not uh, you're not excusing it you're explaining it yes okay. this is why uh, it, it happens in india but i don't uh, i don't know what's the solution like i, I know that there is a solution uh, of uh, free speech if we open free speech in india then people mm. will criticize islam and lot of muslims will live uh, live islam as they get to know about it well, but what well, about the people mm -hmm. who knows islam but still follow the uh, follows the uh, this religion because there would be a lot of people who will know about it and still f uh, follow it they're, they're like rabbit dog there there is right. no cure but, for them but so they, what they, do you do about them what you do is like what i think okay is that those uh, the leaders of those groups they rely on people getting angry and being sensitive right and having a reaction to everything they don't like right so i think that if we could re if we could desensitize both sides about the things that they are offended of we're going to basically take the wind out of the sail out of the recruitment for some of these head radicals from either side do you know what i mean if we could desensitize the population and get them used to their ideas being scrutinized or even mocked if we could if we could get them used to that then the anger that they that they that they use to recruit to to get people motivated to take actions against the things that they don't like that anger will go away after after many many years maybe i don't know you know that's what i think like it's not about just making muslims non muslim right it's about people who remain muslim to get them to accept non muslims that's also part of yeah. our activism and also But, accept non muslims who uh, openly say things about their religion negative things. but i don't think that any kind of uh, moral talks or desensitizing anything would help because uh, well, i has. recently so I, i i i have seen some of the videos of the like prisoners from the uh, ISIS uh, war like war in um, war in Iraq and Syria so yeah, don't uh, don't they, mention don't say ISIS instead of like saying the whole thing because youtube doesn't like that but go on sir yes so the war in uh, after the uh, they were taking interviews of the uh, prisoners in the war mm. in Iraq and Syria so these people they know that they have been defeated that their ideology that it it didn't work so it's not true and they are uh, they are being like uh, therapized uh, they are going through uh, different kind of moral talks by people and mm. they are uh, like uh, they they listen to these things that it's not good we are in the wrong way even muslims said that that you you are not in the uh, right way of islam that's not true islam and right. the people who don't believe in islam they also say that uh, yes. is, your islam doesn't didn't work so even after that these uh, prisoners uh, of war they were like once i get out of this jail i am going to uh, join this war again right like, but, they but those are we can't you look at anecdotal example to try to figure out what the trends are trends are like yes no the trends are in the trends are in our favor yeah but most of i don't know uh, if the media was biased or not the, but the like almost all of the prisoners uh, that were in there they said that they are they don't regret joining the yes, war yes but the prisoners the, the what do you, prisoners of radical groups like that is not a good is not a randomized sample like the, to, yeah. don't and do not judge the, what trends are based on what you see in the media even if it is not biased yes. that's not the best, but, you know the best that's not a very good data collection tactic but go on but when i see the situation in uh, for example in bangladesh as i live here when i go to facebook and uh, uh, other social social media platforms they are not even scared to say things of 
and and that's yes. not yes. like small group of people there are millions I, of people yes. who are radicalized yes. right now Bangladesh. Yes, i can course. show you proof show no you no i know that how? there are millions the level that the 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 <laughs> The level that it is at right now in a country like Bangladesh, I think it's common knowledge how horrific it is right now there, okay? When I'm talking mm. about trends, trends is a separate discussion than what their levels are at right now. Right now, Demographically, yeah. we're winning this war. But go on. Talking about Bangladesh, I think that Bangladesh doesn't receive enough attention from the world uh, yeah. because a lot of I people agree. don't yeah, know yeah. about the country named Bangladesh. And we have a population of uh, 170 million. So right. it's a huge number yeah. of radicalized population living in my country. It, yeah, well, and it's it's increasing. The mm. the as as you are talking about the trends, the way people are leaving Islam, the in the same way people are being more radicalized because of the uh, internet and social media. Because like there are hundred people. Ah, you got cut again. Because of the social media, YouTube, Facebook, they get to know about the real Islam. Okay. So. Half of the people leaves Islam, and half of the people no. like, becomes radicalized. Like no, they no, no, no. accept that. And half right, you need of the citation people... is needed for that. Everything I've seen is not is doesn't suggest that. Okay, but um, if you want to go I, over I data, know. yes, I know. Maybe in, uh, you, you live in a uh, developed country like Canada, and Muslims are much more moderate there. No, no, I'm and not so talking about my personal experience. I'm talking about research, but that's a. The, the I'm talking about better, better methods of data collection. Like no, people are not con. You know, um, when it comes to demographics, where you know people are leaving religion. Okay, uh, all all religions, right? Yes. Globally, globally, like most places, we're winning that, including Bangladesh, India, and Pakistan. Okay, um, but what you get so. So that's, you know, the only thing religion has going for it right now, it's not people converting or to the religion or trends of more radicalization. Like there are like time, like small time periods where we have more radicalization, but overall we're winning that war, right? And um, the, what the only thing they have go going for them is not that idea is winning people over. The only thing they have going for them is birth rates and a small percentage of a high number, even if it's still low, a low percentage ends up being a large um, number, right? A low, you know, a small percentage mm -hmm. of a high number is a, a large number. So that's the only thing they have going, the radicals have going for them, right? Uh, but I don't know if I will, if we want to make this a discussion about numbers, because then I have to like bring actual research to have this discussion. And I was in, I didn't know no. we we're going to go. No, okay. no, no, no. We're, we're not going to that deep. But mm. the, the thing that I want to say that recently I have discovered these Facebook groups in Bangladesh. And mm -hmm. I see these radicalized people who are who are, op uh, who are openly supporting IS, IS and uh, mm -hmm. other religious terrorist organization. I'm going to I'm not going to name on them because of YouTube, but mm -hmm. they are supporting those leaders, those yes. terrorists, and those openly. Like it's not one or two, like in thousands, in thousands. Yeah. Groups, and these are not even illiterate people. These are like the most. And I get removed for sexy Cali. Yes, yes. I, I get removed even... like these. These are people are on social media openly saying these things, and I get removed for sexy Cali. Yes. But go ahead. So, uh, he, uh, these are not even illiterate people. They are like the students and uh, wow. students and like uh, like literate workers, educated people, and educated right. people. Yeah, right. uh, they're university students, college students, these kind wow. of people. So yes. I I get so like I thought that maybe it's not as, as bad as I think it is. Like even uh, maybe like uh, thirty percent or twenty percent Muslim would be radicalized. But when I found out this group, I was like even even for a person living in Bangladesh, I was surprised. And wow. they are openly looking for weapons. Like the reason Bangladesh is not uh, as like has a bad reputation as Pakistan because they don't have uh, weapons uh, weapon supply like Pakistan. Like in mm. Pakistan, you can get a automatic rifle easily. All right. But I in, don't know. In I don't know what. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. Okay. Don't. Yeah. Go but, on. I don't know what if I'm getting in trouble. It is hard to find a weapon. Mm. So mm. these people 
usually attacks with uh, local made weapons like I, I said like chapati like bloggers mm. or killed with chapati and ramda these these are local uh, indian subcontinent weapons they mm. use these things to cut yeah. meat so they they use this to cut people but okay. if i i think if uh, weapons were as available as pakistan in bangladesh bangladesh would be far far worse than pakistan wow uh, this mm. this is what i have seen from my personal experience mm. you, you can uh, talk with other people who have uh, who have knowledge about these things who have discovered this group and you mm. will find out and uh, um, the last thing i i want to say mm. yes uh, you say something no i i will say it after you say your last thing i have a question but go on yes the last thing i want to say that uh, about ca i strongly support that act because i know the horrors that bangladeshi hindus and buddhists have gone through and i don't have any uh, com- uh, uh, any ill will or com- uh, complaints against this act because if uh, the act was like about prosec- uh, persecuting people from uh, all the three countries bangladesh pakistan and afghanistan anyone who, even who is muslim uh, if they get citizenship like shias for example they are in pakistan pakistan, pakistan. Yeah. like if they get indian citizenship i know it's it's a moral cause if get, they get indian citizenship maybe they will some of them will even come to india but uh, even they are being prosecuted they would uh, uh, i think they will choose pakistan over uh, india but okay. when are they coming to india when they are coming to india a lot of those shia people are bringing islam with them you know hmm. we have uh, seen the horrors of islam like it would it is unimaginable like if if for temporary they are okay like after they are uh, when they are like following even following their uh, islamic principles like uh, giving birth and control uh, in a, hmm. without any control like it's haram to uh, it's a haram for muslims to birth, birth control right i have a friend in odisha who is an hindu atheist he said that it's uh, it's not allowed for hindus uh, to have mo- have more than two children in odisha in his state hmm. but muslims have a different law board is uh, uh, did you know that uh, there is a sharia civil law in india like laws for hindus and muslims are different yeah yeah, yeah. yes so for this so, in, uh, so, so as in israel for some goddamn reason but go on yeah for this uh, for this law like muslims can have as as much children than uh, that they want but hindus are like stuck with you and the birth rate of odisha is 2.4 and 96 uh, percent of the population of odisha is hindu only 4 percent has made the birth rate uh 0.4 higher than the uh, than the uh, like required birth rate so just imagine if the people of pakistan who have uh, who have like if you are prosecuted uh, you are not going to throw our uh, religious ideology right like if even if they are uh, getting prosecuted by muslims in pakistan they are not going to be anti muslim when they come to india or anti islam even so they are still going to follow the Isla- uh, islamic uh, principles they are still going to do the same thing i mean after m- muslims in india muslims in india are less much less ex- radical on average compared to muslims in uh, yes. pakistan yes. or yes. bangladesh Go- you got cut you got cut repeat that last part yes, yes. Uh, it's because of the culture of india Right. Like I, so maybe they will become influenced by that. Yes. Especially the But ones who are running even, away. Even in right. India, there are a lot of radicalized uh, yes, Muslims I right know. now. Because there's you know? so many of them. But yeah, and but that's Muslims, that's is a lot that's the law of large thing, numbers. Yeah. And the reason uh, the main thing that even if they come to India, there would be rel- religious segregation. Like in Indian subcontinent, Hindus and Muslims Uh, without um, like if i no, we are not talking about cities if you are uh, talking about small towns hindus prefer to live in uh, an area and muslim prefer to live in another area so in even in india they are getting their own islamic republic 
you know, yeah, say, you know yeah, that's I'm yeah, saying? that's yes. yeah, that's segregation. That's bad. That's really bad. Yes. yes. You know, um, when I'm in India, if I uh, live in an India in a like Hindu neighborhood, I will see only Hindus. If I mm. uh, if I live in a Muslim neighborhood, I will see just like Islamic values, Islamic things going going on. Sure. So right. even if the people and you don't know the people who are willing to come to India, especially uh, from Bangladesh, it's not uh, like the Muslims who go to India. They don't go for persecution. They go for uh, b better econo economical uh, uh, economical situation in okay. India because uh, India is much more uh, developed than Bangladesh. If you don't know. All right. So, can well, I? Uh, do you have more uh, more points before I ask my question? Because we already hit one yes. hour. Yes, 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 yes. Do yes. you have any more points that you want to bring up? No, 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 no. no. Okay. Do you think it's? Um, I know it's not the same scale, but do you agree that there are Muslims in India who are facing persecution as well by the hands of Hindus? Yes. Okay. Uh, do you think that um, the Muslims who are facing uh, persecution at the hands of Hindus? Um, if the, the the struggles that they have to deal with and the injustices that they have to deal with, do you think that it's possible that some of them come up come with enough resentment against Hindus to generalize Hindus as a whole as like like having negative views towards no, Hindus no, no. as a whole? They they can generalize uh, Hindus, but no. uh, I'm the not thing saying is hmm. no no no. Uh, the reason Muslims hate Hindus is not because uh, the same thing that Hindus hate Muslims. Muslims hate Hindus because their scripture, like Quran, Hadith, this these things say too. No, but, not really. No, no. I mean, no, it do, no. the scripture does say that, but most. Again, no, 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 no. Muslims, I I can guarantee you. I uh, do you know about the uh, things about Waz Waz Mahfil? Uh, I don't I, know if I know. Any, any I know country. what. Okay, go on. And uh, when they quote these kind of things from their religious books, like they cheer like crazy. And uh, one thing, like if you are a bad person and if uh, you are uh, somehow your bad ideology has been justified, then you are, you are much Let's... more eager to do the thing than uh, if you face criticism. Like right. if a rapist want to rape and his religion justifies it, like then uh, he would be much more open in raping. I'm not denying the influence of religion, okay? But yes. you shouldn't also deny the influence of environment, okay? Yeah, but it's, but not, a, think, it's uh, not an either or. Most Muslims have never read the Quran. Most Muslims have ne never read the Hadith. Most the, the Muslims, Muslims, let me, let me, let, can I, can I just finish this thought, okay? Yeah. Then the scripture is a powerful tool. Religion is a powerful tool to come and be used as a weapon once people have underlying grievances that they want to now justify taking action on. That underlying grievances needs to be f there mo most of the time for then religion to come take advantage of it and use scripture to weaponize that anger towards another group of people. Without that fertile ground of anger to to plant religion in to then is you know you're not going to be able to like you're not going to have happy people with no issues you know, you may you may have but you're not going to have the same results of happy people that have no issues with another group of people to just insert the quran as like a code into them as if they're robots and all of a sudden they're going to become um they want to like just you know, take revenge of out of every single one of them. It doesn't work like that. There needs to be religion. I'm not denying the role of it, religion, but it just doesn't work by itself. There need there there are other factors at play. And again, I'm not justifying the generalization no, I, and the no, no, hatred. No, I, I, would, I know, I, I know that pe people. I'm not, when I say again, when I'm explaining it, I'm not justifying it. I'm not excusing it. There's a difference between explanation and excusing it. But I'm just saying the same way that you might have. Like some Hindus in Bangladesh have that need, that disgust feeling that they might have over every single Muslim that they ever see, okay? Because of the personal experiences they had in their life. Again, not justified, but it might be there. We know we know why. We know the explanation is because of the person because of what they had to face. We know where that comes from. 
I'm just saying that that might also exist on the other side with many Muslims living under India. Again, not justified, but the explanation is not just because this is written in the Quran. It's, it is partly that, but it's not or the hadith. It's, it is part of that, but it's not only, like, the situation has to be, um, the, you know, this, the answer must be multi, based on multiple factors. If it was, if it was not based on environment as well, you would see all Muslims having these feelings against Hindus everywhere. And they don't. The Muslims in Canada and United States do not have this, the same level of hatred maybe they, compared to the Muslims in India, right? It is personal life experiences as well. It's not no. It's not just because you're Muslim, but go on. Yes, I'm not denying the personal experience or the influence of community. But mm. I think when it comes to uh, the Indian subcontinent, I think it is much more on the religious uh, issues than the mm. community issues. Because uh, even in uh, developed nation, if you see that a lot of uh, Western guys and girls have joined ISIS, right? So they were born in a civilized society. They had everything. But what led to... At, low, led them at to, lower rates, though. At, at low rates. But when it comes to Bangla, uh, like Indian subcontinent, it is much more about the religious creatures because like the, the most Muslims uh, uh, who don't like... Um, who don't uh, hate Hindus? They don't uh, read religious scriptures. You know, if you if a Muslim uh, reads the true Islam, like uh, if he studies true Islam, he either going to be atheist or he is going to be a terrorist. So or don't say the T word, please. Um, or he's going to be in denial. Uh, or he's going to be in denial. So the that's people, usually the answer. Yes, that's usually so, an option people in, pick. In 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 case of Indian subcontinent, from what uh, from what I've seen, it is mainly because of the uh, because of the religious scriptures and uh, Maulanas and Hujurs, the like the religious leaders. They ex like most of the Muslims but they, don't they, read, they need the read anger. them, but they yes. need the anger. They cannot. Is is like. They need, it's, again, that's not the only factor. They need the anger on the ground to be able to take advantage of those people. Yes. They are right. not lying. Like these Maulanas, they, yes. when they go to that Wazmafi land, uh, right. Muslims uh, say Muslims to hey Hindus, they are, not, they are not lying. They actually quote from Hadith and Quran. Yes, I know. And people, yeah. people cheer. Like uh, if, uh, if uh, they are not provoked by it, then why would they use Quran and Hadith, right? Yeah, if so you, let me let me not... just let me tell you that if the usually what happens if the if the underlying grievances is not there, mm -hmm. right? The once you hear the actual hadith or the actual Quran, what happens usually is not radicalization. Usually, sometimes it works, some, but usually it's um abandonment or mostly gymnastic ways of getting around it do you know what i mean like because most muslims who are not looking for an excuse to find a justified way to for to to come up with revenge like to do revenge right when you mm -hmm. feed them the true islam they deny that it means what it actually means because they are because they don't want it to mean what it actually means okay so the only people that really want Islam to mean what it actually means is people that have enough grievances that are looking for justification. Yeah. Again, I'm, yeah, not excuse, I'm not excusing the reaction. Again, I'm just saying how yeah. it works, yeah. right? I know that uh, personal experience and community has an effect as I have personally faced it. But uh, when I am talking about the Indian subcontinent that Muslims has faced much less uh, persecution yes. than Hindus because and for this that. reason That's why I said, when right? when when, when uh, Hindu leaders like provoke Hindus they use the example of our previous history like how we are killed how were uh, our women were uh, raped they use this kind of things but when uh, Muslims provoke Muslims they use the um, Quran and Hadith because they don't have much of the history 
of prosecution in Indian subcontinent. Though in recent years there are some incident who is right. been used to provoke Muslims like 2002 riots and uh, and right. and the Babri mosque issue mainly mainly that and uh, and some some of the like uh, Facebook posts on uh, Prophet or insulting Islam. This these things are used to provoke Muslim. But uh, I'm, not denying, I'm not denying that it's much less. Just that it's there. Yes. Right. So I'm, yeah, I, I agree with you that it's much less. But go on. Yes. So I think that is the main reason right. for. Right. Can I ask you one? More? I, I already asked this question. I, I need. We need to end this because nobody's going to watch this if this gets any longer. Okay. But okay. I need to ask you again. I already asked you. Is there? Are you going to offer us any way? Anybody listening? Are you not going to offer them any way to help you? Or reach out to you? No, right? Like, no. No, like, I, I don't. I any don't calls for action? Any. Nothing. No, no, no nothing. nothing. I, w I would have done this much more earlier if I wanted like any help from, uh, like, even if you raise voices, like it would hardly reach. Like, atheist republic is popular among atheists in Bangladesh, but it's oh. uh, hi. It's uh, not of. Uh, th there are not many atheists in Bangladesh. Uh, like about um, five percent of the population would be atheist. Five percent at most. Five, I'm at half, most, five percent. No, that, that I'm giving is uh, a good chance. Right. Even uh, if it's very much, then it would be five percent, not more than that. Right. But here's uh, okay. Is there anything people can do to try to help with general situations in Bangladesh? No, not, uh, if not... you if you are an uh, if you are a theist, then pray for me. And if you are an atheist, then wish wish me good luck. Though. Is there, any, that, we could, is there any, anything people could do beyond praying for you and wishing you good luck? No, no. I, I don't think that uh, there is much to do here. Fighting for secularism in Bangladesh? No, nothing? Yes. Uh, I don't think that... I, I don't see any hope in Bangladesh. Okay, well. Okay, we're really ending this on such a... That, on this, like, is this how we're going to end this? Okay. That's sad. that's very sad, guys. Can you, uh, <laughs> if you guys have dominant any religion. Hmm. dominant religion in Bangladesh, I don't think any hope is there for Bangladesh. I There's have no hope for no Bangladesh. Hope. No, I have, I, I have I, Bangladesh. I have hope for Bangladesh. Come on, you could Bangladesh. You could do better. Yes, yes. But, I, I hope this hmm. gets better. But in uh, one or two hundred years, I don't see. I don't think so. Wow. Okay. Well, if you, if, you, if anybody, even if, hmm. even if the world go, goes much further, Bangladesh will be stuck because of his uh, religious bigotry and corruption. It's it's a hellhole. I don't think that, uh, for, at least for uh, one hundred or two hundred, unless there is a war, like if some country tries uh, like invades Bangladesh and like colonize it and enforce new rules, it's not going to change. Um, it's my thought. Well, let's not let's not offer that as a solution. Um, <laughs> but okay. <laughs> but, <laughs> no, I wish like for fuck. Really? I don't want to be colonized again. You you wait. You want to be colonized again? Yeah, like I, I want to like <laughs> escape to Britain. Like colonize us and colonize. <laughs> okay. Oh my. God. <laughs> Okay, okay, like please. At least get, it uh, was better talk, when, right? we, like you're saying that we, it was better when you were colonized. Is that what you're saying? Um, uh, I don't know, but yeah, yeah, it would be better, much more, uh, being colonized by British, right? Uh, <laughs> but uh, living in an Islamic country, okay. Well, yeah, I can, yeah, actually, that's true. Um, I mean, there's everything is better than living in an Islamic country. Everything. I, I would bet you that living in hell, if there was a literal hell, would be preferable yeah. than living in an Islamic country. But anyways, okay. um, guys, if you if you're watching this, if you, if you have any theories yourself or any solutions that you want to offer, um, how about this? Can if can people um, you gonna can you say that you're gonna read people's comments once I publish this video? Because if they can't reach out to you. Can you, um, can they read your, can they know, can you tell them that you're going to read the comments under this video? You would do that? Yes, they can comment. I would I'd like to read their comments, but 
All right. Uh, I don't think. So that, you're gonna uh, read their comments when when once they yeah. once they leave the comments on the video, you're gonna come and read the comments yeah. later. Uh, like yeah. I have to be very cautious though. Like if yes. a person says that he can help me, but no, uh, I I, I no, later no. I found out that he's an uh, undercover Muslim and I'm going to be yeah. in trouble. So okay. <laughs> I'm not going to trust no just that easily. But yeah, don't I would, ask. Uh, love their yeah. Appreciation and support, and uh, and uh, I I would like to uh, like them to pray for me and my family. That's that's okay. all I ask for. So if you have any messages for him, leave it, that he's going to read later, or if you believe in God and you want to pray for, t tell him that you're praying for him. Leave those mess. Leave a comment under this video. And he's going to read your messages. Or if you have any suggestions, don't ask him to reach out to you. He's not going to be able to trust you. But if you just have any suggestions that he's going to read um, or any suggestions for me to do content regarding to pay more attention to Bangladesh, for example, uh, leave that as well. Um, and again, yes. and uh, yeah. Armin, and if you have any like query about Hinduism or anything, I, I would uh, suggest you to like uh, go to a neutral person to uh, like find out things about Hinduism. Uh, oh, yeah. But uh, recently, I have noticed that uh, a KT, a, a guy named KT, uh, mm -hmm. is like bullshitting. Like most of the mm -hmm. ha har or his comment is bullshit. Like I don't, <laughs> I don't, I know that you don't yeah. like uh, accept all those things, but it's like mm -hmm. irritating to see like. Uh, same bullshit over and over again. Why are I you so worried about? Given okay, here's the one question. Given no, no, all I, the, I, I, I given think all that... the crap that you're dealing with, safety wise, uh, taking care of your family wise, um, economic, you know, security, the, living under a hellhole that is an Islamic country. Um, mm. Why would, why would people talking? crap about your religion even no, show I, up I, on your I radar i don't i don't like why is that even an issue i i don't care about that if you mm. but i i i think that you deserve a yeah uh, proper i will try yes, i will I, try I but i'm just i'm, I'm gonna try to uh, uh, consider all sides okay but yeah. i'm wondering why that is for as a hindu as a theist hindu Given yeah. everything that you have to deal with in your life, why yeah. people not liking your religion? Why is that even an? Why would that even register in your priority list? Like, where would that? Okay. Why would that even? Yeah. Okay, uh, then it's going to be a long. Few days ago, I uh, I seen one of your video that you said that uh, uh, like Hinduism has nothing to do with India being better than Pakistan because uh, religion didn't make a difference between India and Pakistan. I would uh, like to disagree on that because I think that because... Do you really That's not think how that I framed it. Go no, on. you said that uh, India is because of... Uh, better yeah. be, uh, because of its in, uh, enlightenment values. Values, like, yes. Do you think That's that these values uh, that we, the society accepts or that society preserves has nothing right. to do with the... Uh, society's religion, the people. Uh, so what the, I uh, think is that here, indirectly, Hinduism might be responsible because it was a, it had less resistance to enlightenment yeah. values. Okay. Yeah. So, like, but if, but I, no, I hold can... on. Let me let me ask let me answer you. Right. I do think that in the you know the the the. the Hinduism as a religion was less resistant to enlightenment values, and that's why enlightenment values managed to do its job. Um, in spreading in India much better than in, in, in an Islamic country like Pakistan. But so indirectly Hinduism might be responsible, but Hinduism itself didn't offer those values. Do you know what I mean? It just resisted them less than a religion like Islam. Yes. Uh, it can so be indirectly, a indirectly it's somewhat well, yes, responsible. I, I, I do respect uh, your opinion on that. I'm going to go now because it's going to be so long. It's already right, one okay. hour and eight. All right, all right. Let me, so, let me just I, thank I, I you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me yes, just, uh, thank you so much. But don't go you, away. Let you. me just end this recording by, by thanking you, okay? Thank you. Okay. Do you okay. want to say one last word or anything? Yes, I, I also want to thank you too. Oh, that's it? Okay. Well, yeah. I really appreciate you educating us on this. All right? So hold on. Um,